Morning, afternoon, everybody.、Uh, Whoever is watching this, probably you're watching it at different times, of course. So let's bring you today's highlight. It is the ELCMX, and if you're wondering why don't you see my replays anymore, because I have given up playing this game for a while.、Uh, probably you will see this video before my VK video, which I am going to officially say goodbye for World of Tanks for a couple of、uh, weeks at least.、Uh, I would say a month. Uh, I will ex be explaining the reasons why, but I think、um, there will still be limited supply of videos coming out、uh, in the meantime.、Uh, but you you will just have to to see. Of course, it wouldn't be as regular as before.、Uh, the reasons will all be explained in that video in the VK. So th this game is simply fantastic, as you can see. ELC, he he is. I can't even say his name, but something. Polytrosin six. So ELC MX. What do you need to know about this tank? Was that it was first introduced, like really OP with the fully rotatable turret.、Uh, now historically, it was able to, I think,、uh, on the top of my head,、uh, that this tank could actually rotate its turret 360. But because it was so OP, they had to nerf it on historically to make it.、Um, Into like a TD style sort of light tank. Now this tank is still awesome for a number of reasons. It is one of the smallest tanks in game, possibly the smallest actually.、Um, I, I don't quote me on that. I think it is the smallest、uh, in terms of how small and light it is. So do not ever get rammed in it. You will get destroyed. And you can see the camera rating in this thing is absolutely fantastic. The ELC is the best light tank in terms of its ability to punch holes into、uh, equally or slightly higher tier the enemy.、Uh, although it's a tier five, as you can see, the gun has the same alpha almost as the super version at tier eight.、Uh, certainly, this ta this tank is nothing to to. To say bad about really,、um, they had long aim time, but it's compensated. So overall, this tank is absolutely fantastic. I totally rec recommend you to play it if you haven't played it yet.、Uh, but it is not a keeper in my opinion because,、uh, I, first of all, the light tanks are hard to play.、Uh, second of all, ELC, I, I, there aren't much motive for me to play this tank. But it, I can see why maybe 90 of the percent players、uh, would actually keep it.、Um, but I, I I need my money. I need to sell my tanks. So no,、nope, ELC is not a keeper for me. But I do recommend you to keep it if you do have the spare money to have it lying around there. And this tank, yeah, it is just awesome. But do not, literally, do not get chased by another light tank. You cannot shoot them in return. They will shoot you after chasing you. And you will just painfully die in that sense. So the, the start was four one, and now they pulled the score to four two, still losing by two opponents. The comments don't I don't I don't don't even ask why is he even there. It's totally stupid in my opinion to be to be right into the enemy's、uh, defense. As you, as you can see, ELC goes right around them, kills the opponent. And now SU 100 why misses it because it's so slow. That's so small, not so slow.、Um, now it's just home time because now only a, a quarter, no, a third of the team is left. So it's easy for you to pick out your opponents at relative ease. So T25 too. He's he's obviously crazy. Why is he even in the open? So it seems like the IS just fired. Oh, did he? I think so.、Uh, so that means he has time to get away. Look at ELC, just, just dodging the shells like a boss.、Um, no other light tank certainly has the same capability. Now the closest tank I can think of that's similar to ELC is the E25. That thing has limited traverse because it's a tank tower, but the gun on it. It's actually way weaker than the ones on the ELC, but ELCs, as I said, ELCs、uh, aim time is the real killer. So you want to lower that aim time as much as possible,、uh, or just go close range,、uh, like like really, really, really close,、uh, just right next to them, basically. 
and uh, do executions like this. So don't ever underestimate a good ELC player. It, it's just no brainer, you know. They are so sneaky. They can spot your entire enemy team without getting spotted, and you will have no clue where he is, uh, unless he fires, of course. And this two two hundred, uh, let's say two hundred something damage shot, uh, two hundred something per shot damage is absolutely a monster. Two hundred forty average damage. That is a monster for even a medium tank uh, at tier tier. Six, you know, and this thing is tier five light tank that has 200 damage. The reload isn't that bad though, if you think about it. So yeah, this thing is definitely really competitive in my opinion. And as you can see, the the gun really doesn't doesn't pull you down really. Uh, if you aim properly, this thing is would not let you down like some other light tank guns. And we're talking about 59, 16, and all that. Uh, I don't know what language that is. If you guys can tell me what he's writing, tag jest. Uh, I don't know what that meant. So EOC, uh, EOC against Shafi. Shafis are probably better in this term because Shafi's got turn, and you want to bite on the arse of the EOC if possible. So you can see he is not in a hurry to engage the the Shafi, which is a clever thing to do. If you rush in to just kill the Shafi, most likely the Shafi will rip you apart. Since the, uh, the Shafi has a rapid fast firing gun, and if the Shafi is clever enough, he can just get on your arse, and you in the ELCMX have no chance of escaping that if they are good enough. So, you can see this this guy in the ELC really, he, he loves this thing. He has 16 rounds of APCR loaded, and this, it's just, well, wow. Uh, I, I think after watching this video maybe my opinion might change so that I might actually buy back my ELC uh, who knows so SU 100 wire is is dead you cannot mess around with ELC and SU 100 wire he didn't read his map didn't look at the ELC early enough and uh, sooner or later ELC is gonna kill it yep oh oh that was close but because of the small size yeah, the SU 100 wire is pretty much 100% screwed, and you can see this is just ELC 101, and now it's one against five. Right, one against five. Can he execute this? Do you reckon? Good. He kills the Shafi. That keeps on doing his S moves. As you can see, this is very hard to hit, indeed. Now the KB1. Is shooting him as you can see from behind but I believe now is the chance to take out the dicker max uh, because you don't want somebody to cap and imagine another guy caps then two people dealing with two people in a cap will be more difficult than dealing with one we know there's only one in there so just approach him with the right angle and uh, we can catch the dicker max off guard and as soon as you do that it's game over for the dicker max Oh, there, there you go, Dicker Max in the wrong way. Just, it, I, I don't understand the Dicker Max, because if I owned the Dicker Max, I would be like, okay, that, that player is certainly not a bad player when he's got 5 kills in the ELC, so which way do you reckon he's going to come, the non-obvious way, and so why do you still show your ass to the to the uh, most likely source of um, them coming when they're actually a good player, so if they're a bad player, okay, you might expect them to come from the obvious location, but since he's already on five kills and certainly no like not a bad player why would you still go and aim at the obvious spot when 99% of the time a good player will go from behind I, it doesn't it doesn't make sense for me and that's what I think you guys should actually think about uh, because uh, if you're wondering why, why do you get picked apart by some of them well, in my opinion, it's just the way you think has to change, first of all, tactically. Then it's your reaction, your skills, and all that. But mainly, strategy is quite important. And strategy, I, I understand it comes with experience and all that, but some of, some of them are common sense. Uh, you know, when that guy's on 5 kills, you just have to think in your mind that, okay, he's on 5 kills, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna need some sort of uh, 
out out sinking the opponent, and that ELC driver here is just showing us how he's outplaying the others. And you can see the other players aren't really thinking uh, in the right manner they should be doing. Okay, so the Hummel just fired like that, which is a waste of a shot. Now he's dead. Now the Hummel's so dead. Goodbye, Hummel. And two more rounds left. Easily can can pick out this Panda 38 in a who is AFK. What a shame. And now this game is just just painful for the good players on the enemy team who's watching this team just va getting vaporized by the ELC MX. Now this was just an awesome game. He even wrote this in chat. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Video. Hopefully I have told you some tactics maybe for you to improve your gameplay. So hopefully this has been interesting, and uh, we shall see you next time.